Hello people, it's me again. Now some of you will be wondering if I've moved house. The answer is no, I've just given my kitchen a bit of a makeover. By the way, I did the tiling myself and replastered this wall when I took the units down. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to make a really quick and tasty supper using pasta, bacon, yes, real bacon from a pig, and chard. Here's 300 grams of chard that I've picked from the garden. You can see it's different varieties, different colours, and all I'm going to do is strip the greenery off the stalks. You don't have to be particularly exact about this. That was a good one. So here are my stalks and here are my leaves. I'll just put the leaves to one side for a minute and then slice the stalks. So here's my pretty multicoloured sliced chard stalks. Now for the rest of the recipe I've got 300 grams of smoked bacon that I've chopped roughly, a couple of shallots which are finely chopped and two cloves of garlic. Heat a tablespoon of olive oil in a pan, add in the shallots and stir fry for about two minutes. Crush the garlic into the pan. Stir fry for 30 seconds. Then add in the bacon. Stir fry for three to four minutes until the bacon takes on colour. That's looking rather good. So I'll add in the charred stalks. Then stir fry for three to four minutes. This is smelling lovely. Season well with salt and ground black pepper, then tear in the charred leaves. Spread them out, cover the pan, turn the heat right down and cook gently for three to four minutes. Now give the mix a stir, Cover again and leave for a further three to four minutes. By now you should have cooked some fresh pasta to mix this with. Just follow the instructions on the pasta packet. This goes well with pasta shells or bows or spirals. And don't forget to sprinkle some parmesan cheese or similar on the top. Mmm, supper. You can serve this with a little bit of salad if you like, it makes a really good supper. Anyway, before I sign off, there's something very important I need to tell you. You see, the thing is, I don't read comments on any of my YouTube videos and haven't done for a couple of years. So, if you've got a question for me, I won't answer it because I'll never see the question. And if you're one of these people who goes around writing very insulting comments or deeply personal comments and you want to do that on my YouTube videos, that's fine, go ahead. It won't affect me because I'll never see it and all you'll be doing is pissing in the wind. See you next time. Until then, chow down.